What's good, Betsy's family? Welcome back to our channel. So I just got back from Kehlani's doctor's appointment. I tried to vlog a little bit in there with my phone because I left the camera at home. Go figure. Um, but she wasn't having it, so it was just a quick little um, clip. I'll put it in right now. All right, guys, so we... <laughs> Yes, she was tested for RSV last week and was positive, so we are going to recheck today. Anyways, so yes, like I was saying last week, Friday, she got tested for RSV and it came out positive. So today was just a recheck. Um, her lungs sound much better, but because RSV kind of lingers around for a while, they do want me to continue with her breathing treatment, so that's what I'm going to do. But definitely everything has been improving, so that's great on that note. But yeah, guys, we're home right now. I just finished editing a vlog. I'm actually uploading it now onto our channel. So look out for that. It should be posted, um, I want to say by 4 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it to post at 4 o'clock this Yay! afternoon. Um, that way when you guys get off of work or school, you guys can go ahead and check it out. And here's Miss Thang over here, walking in on me. She's pissed off because she's trying to go to the bathroom and it's still, she still struggles with that, you guys. But um, her doctor just told me to up her dose um, on lac lactulose, I think it's called, and that kind of helps her go peacefully. But yeah, she's like hating life right now. Um, I feel bad, but... I mean, the only thing I do is I, can, I lay her down and like push her stomach and stuff and she hates that. So I'm kind of like just letting her go. I kind of hear her struggle right now, but. And I hope the audio is good right now because I don't have my microphone connected. I just changed the battery on here, but let me go help her real quick because I hate to hear her in that agony and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just got done eating my oatmeal right now. Kahelani is asleep and Kai's over there in the kitchen eating his lunch, but Real quick, I just wanted to say, like, who else besides me? I know it's majority of you guys binge eat during the holidays, dude. I okay, starting from Halloween, I start because really, like, the Halloween candy, like, who the heck can freaking bypass that? Not me. I know I can. Um, so it starts from Halloween, and then it just lingers on to Thanksgiving, and then lingers on to Christmas and the New Year's, and then. It all stops like in January for me. And you guys, my body is going through it right now because I am literally shocking my body. Like my body is so used to the sweets, so used to the carbs, the bread. But during the holidays, I have to just treat myself for doing good so doing good throughout the year. And I feel as though like my body is fighting me to get back to my normal eating habits, which is eating light, like my oatmeal. And then um, I eat like maybe a salad in the afternoon, and then sometimes I don't even, I don't want dinner because I'm not hungry because I'm so full off of my water. Um, my body's fighting me to get back to that normal eating schedule. So I did just want to talk about it because a lot of you guys may like try to eat healthier, but you're not listening or you're not really getting what your body is telling you by the way you're feeling so like for instance like right now I'm feeling so sick as if I'm coming down with a cold or a flu my head hurts and I feel like achy fatigue and stuff like that and your first instinct is gonna say god like I'm getting sick right so and I don't know about you but for me when I'm getting sick I, my first thing is eat eat something I drink like a sprite to kind of just you know thinking I'm getting sick but in all actuality throughout this past year that I've been eating healthy I've noticed that you know what your body feels like that because you're you're not feeding it the sugar that it's used to getting so it's literally going through sugar withdrawals I learned so much within this past year of eating um, a healthier and losing so much weight because I'm learning my body and I'm learning the signs that my body is telling me. Like, I'm not feeling this way right now because I'm getting sick. Even though everyone in the house is sick, it's not me getting sick. It's my body fighting and wanting that sugar. I bet you right now, if I go in that kitchen and eat something sweet, I'll feel better. It's kind of like when you drink coffee and you have withdrawals from not drinking coffee anymore. That's kind of what it is. So like, you just have to fight through it. So if you ever, ever, ever tried eating healthy and you just start feeling sick all of a sudden, Mommy. it's because your body's fighting it. 
and that's something you just have to push past because I promise you once you push, push past that like sick feeling your body's gonna start feeling so much better. Here comes Kai. Say so he just had some McDonald's. <laughs> and subscribe to this channel. So the boys are back. Say hi, guys. Say hey. Hi, hi guys. guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Crazy. I'm about to go check their bags, see what they brought home. So I am going through Romeo's work, and his teachers always send back like the tests that they do and with the uh, grades. And he's been doing great, but honestly, I feel he does better in math that he does his English. So like for instance, he got 86% on his first test, which isn't too bad, but I would still like to see an A at least. Um, his second one, he had a 95%, which is an A, so that's great. Mom, mom, look. Yes, I see that, that's very nice. But his last one, he had four wrong, 80%, which is a C, look, and mom, I hate C's. Mom, uh, mom, mom, look. Very nice, Skylar, nice painting. Call me strict, whatever, but C's are no no. I know when he gets older, it's gonna get harder and stuff, but if he doesn't get something, he needs to ask. And I don't care how many times he asks, till he gets it, he is going to ask. It being because when I was in high school or elementary, I didn't really care about grade, letter grades. But now that I'm an adult, I see that they are very important and I want different for my kids. So I'm obviously parenting my children to be better than what I was, right? Isn't that the whole point? Um, I mean, you don't want your kids to make the same mistakes you did, so no. C's are no for me, sorry. And what I like to do, like for instance, like right here, what I like to do is I like for him to go over every one he got wrong, and I want to explain to him why he got it wrong, and I want to make sure he know, understands why he got it wrong. That way, he doesn't make it a mistake again, and he gets it, so. But like I said, for math, I don't have to do that. He gets A's on every math test, so this is great. So the teacher said, we should walk around here and tell Yeah. But you just have to pay attention. Like, look over here. Look over here. Let's see. Let's show them. So for number four, number four, the bunnies hop or hops in the grass. You put hop. You forgot the S. Yeah. Make sense? Mom shop for groceries or mom shops for groceries. You put shop. You forgot the S. Same thing for that one. Oh, I erased it. Well, see, you didn't listen to your first instinct. You guys, the coolest thing just freaking happened to me right now. So, as I, as our video were, was uplated, up, uplated, uplated, I can't even talk, you guys. As our video uploaded at 4 o'clock, so did one, um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Layla's Life. I don't know if you guys watch her. If you guys don't, just go subscribe to her right now. She's like so funny and so real. Like you don't get real YouTubers as often and she's like the realest right now. Like I love her. Anyway, she's so funny you guys. Anyway, so I, she uploaded one too like a couple minutes after me. So I was like okay, so I watched it a couple minutes and I commented on it and she, I didn't even think anything and she freaking liked and commented back to my comment. Oh my gosh, talk about fangirl moment. Oh holy cow. Oh yeah, you guys. I just thought I would share that because that is like exciting to me but anyway I'm actually making dinner right now I'm making um, chicken fettuccine that's Michael's fave right now he's like obsessed with it if he could he eat it every single day so I'm making that for him right now stop Skylar and um, he's actually heading home right now so when he's done showering, dinner should be done. Cause fettuccine doesn't take long at all. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna try and set up this camera so you guys can watch me do my thing. Hopefully it stays. 
Uh, no. Uh, come on, let's go. Bye, okay. All right, so hopefully my camera doesn't fall off because if it does, it's probably gonna break. So fingers crossed. Anyway, so here I have some diced up chicken breast. And I'm just going to season it with garlic, salt, and pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder, not a lot, because obviously the garlic salt has garlic in it already. And then uh, to do my chicken, I use organic olive oil. What are you doing? Get away from there, please. spaghetti noodles. I don't use the fettuccine noodles. I think they're too thick. I don't really like the texture, but um, yeah. And I like to break my noodles in half. I just break them in half. It's easier um, to cook, I feel. My opinion, like I said, I'm not no chef or nothing. Michael just got home. I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of garlic. Mm. Garlic, I think I said that before, but garlic and onions, my favorite when to cook with. Don't forget, hydrate. So I'm done making dinner and this is what I am eating. And I have some authentic wonton strips. Um, it's an Asian, it's a miso salad. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.